Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and before I get started, if you enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, so I know you're enjoying the content. If you don't, thumbs down works as well. If you like knife content and you're not already subscribed, think about hitting that subscribe button. I will be doing a giveaway here soon, and you have to be a subscriber to enter. Um, so I, I get this email a lot, and I just got an email from a subscriber um, the other day asking me, what budget blades that he could get for $35 and under and there's so many of them so I figure why not just make a video so I could you know talk about each one so today I'm going to give you give him and the rest of y'all my top 10 knives budget knives that are $35 and under and I'll probably do a another one you know some other good options uh at a later date so let's get started first one is the QSP Penguin um, just a great bang for your buck. $30, you get D2 steel, you get micarta, you get a stupid smooth action, good detent, uh, you can spotty, whoop, you can spotty flick it, easy access to that lock bar, deep carry pocket clip, left or right hand carry, tip up left or right hand carry, um, decently slicey blade, and just makes for a great work knife. I, I've owned three of these. I still have two of them. And uh, I recommend this one a lot. This is a QSP Penguin. The next is another great one. Um, and it is the CJRB Small Feldspar. You can pick up the, the Small Feldspar for $35. I think that's another exceptional bang for your buck. D2 steel, once again, um, you get contoured G10 scales. I love seeing that. Feels really good in hand. Tip up left or right hand carry. Deep parry pocket clip. Excellent action. This is on bearings. Nice drop shut action. Nice thumb studs. Uh, a nice little slicer as well. Just a cool offering from CJRB. Now this is a small version. And if this is too small for you, a good, you know, harder use work style knife you can pick up is the CJRB Krog or Craig. Um, this is in D2 as well, $35. This is, you know, at that, both of these are at that, that upper end of the, you know, the budget. But both excellent knives and they do a pretty good job on their D2 as well. This one's... Pretty nice and slicey. You got that that high uh, flat grind on bearings. Tip up left or right hand carry with a deep carry pocket clip. Good, both great options. And uh, just depending on the size that you're looking for. Now, if you live in an area where you cannot have you know, a locking knife, a good option that is still available is the uh, Civivi Fracture. This is a, um, what do you call it? It's a, a modern traditional. It's a slip joint. And they run $28. Civivi makes great products. This was supposed to be, you know, like this really small run or whatever, but they're still available. You can still get either blade shape. You can get it in a drop point or a tanto, whichever you prefer. Both tip up, left or right hand carry, deep carry pocket clip, and you get that uh, that Civivi craftsmanship. They do a good job. Um, this one has a lighter spring to it. This one has a little bit stiffer of a spring. You got a half stop on them. Um, you can you can one hand open them. You just got to be careful. But you know if you're buying a slip joint, most of the time. You open two hand anyway. These are in 9 CR 18 MOV, uh, good budget steel, and it's stainless. <clears throat> All right, another stainless option, a small one, one of one of my favorites, is the Reich P661. Um, you can get it in the. Well, this is the 660. I mean, this is 662B. You can get it in this blade shape. I, I, I prefer this one the most. Uh, you only get a single thumb stud, but it's a, it's a smaller knife. Um, let's see. Let's bring out that 
CJRB Craig cra or Craig, whatever. I mean, as you can see, it's it's a, a much smaller knife, um, but you get you get uh, a stainless steel in 14C 28N, nice little slicer. Um, it, it comes with a bead blast finish, but you know, for for the let's see, what do these run? I have this written for thirty three dollars. I I think that's that's fine. Um, very 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 smooth good action good detent it is tip up right hand carry only deep carry clip so if uh you need something that's you know has a clip left on the left side then this is not your knife but if you don't like the uh warning blade shape they also have it in a drop point both of them are attractive knives uh this one i've done some heavy modifications to the scale as you can see i, I kind of uh smoothed out these it's got it's got kind of a hard edge on here it's not you know for what you're gonna be cutting with these you don't really feel it that much i just i just like to uh, make make my knives my own <laughs> so this is the right p661b and the 662b and these run around 33 dollars i've seen them for 30 and 28 dollars at times but you can get them definitely for under 35. The next, the next two, basically, I'm counting as one, just like the the fracture and the la, the uh, the last Reich. Um, you can't have a list without having these on there, and that is your Ontario Rat Model One. It's the bigger one, and the Ontario Rat Model Two. Now these are both the AUS eight versions because I couldn't find the D2 versions under $35. Um, maybe somebody else can. If you can, just leave me a link somewhere. But um, both of these, you can pick up the AUS 8 versions for... I wrote it down on one of these papers. The AUS for $29. I'll tell you what, that's a great bang for your buck. You know, the larger one is a big, it's a pretty big knife. And uh, for like a camp knife or just a hard use work knife, I've owned many of these AUS-8 knives and they perform pretty darn good. They got a decent heat treat on them. The action on every single one I've ever owned is just, they, they got that detent perfectly dialed in. It's tip up, tip down, left hand, right hand carry. Uh, you get this full flat grind. The larger one's more comfortable in my hand. Uh, it's just, you know, it's, it's a, it's a pretty weighty knife. It doesn't, it doesn't have uh, skeletonized liners or anything. And the small one, a lot, a lot more people prefer. I put this acid wash blade, but you can get it with a black coated blade. And like I said, you can get it for indeed too as well, but they, they're over that $35 price point. And the small one, for some reason, this little hook area right here has always been uncomfortable for me. So I always tend to use the larger one. But for for the $29, you, you really can't, you can't go wrong with either one of these. All right, the next one is from a company I, I don't... I don't see them making any more knives from there at this brand, but this is a sub brand of Kaiser and that is the Tangram line. That was their cheapest line they had. And, uh, this is their Santa Fe model. Um, the Santa Fe, I, they have dropped down a good bit. I, I saw, I saw this knife for $21 on Amazon. I don't know if it's still there, but it's definitely under the $30 price point. Uh, and, and I haven't really seen it creep up past like $25. And for that price, I, it's a pretty good deal. Um, you get Qudo 440 steel, um, G10 scales, uh, Teflon. I mean, it's like, yeah, thin Teflon over phosphor bronze, giving it that nice silky action. Good D10 on this thing. And I've, this is my, this is a newer one. That I that I got because my other one is just destroyed from from using it in the shop, but uh, it's not one that you feel bad about you know destroying at that price. Uh, it's a deep carry pot clip tip up left or right hand carry, good lock up on it, no no movement whatsoever. Um, like I said, great action. Now the Kudo 440 
the way that, I mean, I've owned, like I said, I've owned three of these and a bunch of the other Tangram knives. And I will say, you know, the, the Kudo 440 is not, it's not that great. They don't, it's, it's somewhat soft. And I, if I had to compare it, uh, I would say it's kind of like the Ganzo 440. It's it's not it's not bad. It's just not anything to write home about. Uh, but you know, for twenty five dollars, I think it's a it's a good good buy. Speaking of Ganzos, not something you see on my channel just because of their um, you know lookalikes that they've they've done with a lot of different models, but. I tend to buy them to modify them to, you know, chop them and do something fun to them. But I do know there is a market out there and, you know, for somebody who can't, you know, afford to get something, you know, any more expensive than these, uh, they're not bad at all. This one right here was one of my favorites. This is the uh, FH21 in D2 steel and these things are 25 bucks. That, I mean, you can't, you really can't, you can't go wrong. The, the D2 is, is pretty, pretty good. Um, I've seen somebody do a Rockwell test on one of these and they, they were at like a 61 and 60. They, they advertise it. I don't know if it's on their blades too, but they advertise the Rockwell at like 61 or something like that. Um, that's, that's not, you know, saying that they, they did everything perfect. But at $25, I, I'm not going to complain. Excellent action on this one. This is the smoothest one I've ever had. All the other ones that I owned, I've chopped them and made them smaller knives. So this is, this is the one I got. $25, not a bad buy. These next, this next brand, man, this, this next knife I just reviewed, and it really just wowed me. And... That is by uh, SRM or at Sanram Unaz. And the first one is, this is the one that I just reviewed, the 9201. You can get either one of these. This is just uh, the coated, non-coated black G10 or the tan. Um, you can get these for 30 bucks. And this knife right here, I still, I still have been abusing it. I don't think it has any major edge damage i was doing some stupid stuff with it the other day just to test out but it performed amazingly now i will say one thing about these knives and this one was was graciously sent to me by a subscriber so i, I couldn't be happier so uh he, he just wanted me to test it and see what i thought because he liked the knife and he sent me this one and i bought this one right here because i wanted to see if this one's just a fluke, you know, was it just happened to be perfectly heat treated or something? And uh, I'm still testing out this one. Uh, I don't know if I, I, I'm pretty ADD, so I get all over the place. But one, the only the the main problem that I that I've found with all the one all these models that I'm about to show y'all is that you do have to put Loctite on the pivot, which is not a big deal. At least in my eyes, it's not a big deal at thirty dollars. I put Loctite. On almost every folder that I take apart but um, they do need Loctite because every every one that I've that I've been testing they do start loosening up if you don't have Loctite on them um, so you know if that if that's a deal breaker for you then you might want to pass on these but I will say the performance on this one has absolutely wowed me blew some 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 knives I was testing in s35 VN away but that, that doesn't say anything. Those knives could have burnt edges or something. Smooth actions, tip up, carry, left or right hand. Totally ambidextrous with that axis style lock. Um, great buy at the $30, $30 price point. And the same guy who sent me the, the this one, he also sent me this one. And this is just a the same knife with just a little bit different of a blade shape. As you can see, this one is the 9202-GW, and this one's also $30. Um, 
I don't know which one I, I like most. They both are comfortable in hand. Hopefully this one performs like this one. And I'm still shocked that this coating is holding, holding up pretty well. I mean, you can see this one's this is a new one. And then this is the one I've been testing. So you can see some, you know, some lighter spots, but it, it kind of looks like it's supposed to be like that. You can see the difference in the darkness and the, the wear spots on the, uh, the edges. It just looks like it was stonewashed a little bit longer. <laughs> but it's been holding up pretty nicely. Uh, and this next one, if you if you don't want to spend the thirty dollars, you wanna you wanna get one a little cheaper. I love the aesthetics of this one, and he sent me this one as well to check out. And that is the ninety two eleven. I love the the profile of this knife. It's comfortable in hand. The only difference with this one is is that it's an eight cr. So if you would if you wanted one of these models, but you wanted it in a stainless eight crs. Uh, more stainless than D2, but you're not going to get the edge holding and the toughness on the ATR. I haven't done a whole lot of testing with this one, uh, but I plan on it. This one doesn't have the stone washed uh, black coating, it just has a black coating. You can see some starting to wear. I was doing some rope cutting with this one the other day, and it didn't take any major damage on it. But this one's smooth as well. I had to lock tight the pivot on this one also. That you can also get it in an uncoated blade with I think like orange G10 and black G10. But check, check them out. You can find these on Amazon. I will try to leave a link to all the knives that I've shown. And that's my that's the top 10. But if you, I, I know people are gonna want to want me to choose for anybody who's stuck around. I'm gonna give you. Uh, my favorites in certain categories for me the overall best bang for the buck I'm, I'm gonna have to go with the uh, 9201 for $30 this one performs well it looks nice it's totally ambidextrous $30 I think it's an excellent price point it's not heavy uh, you get G10 it checks a lot of boxes nice and smooth that opening hole is comfortable so that's going to be the overall winner. Uh, now, if you want a, a, a heavier duty knife, it, it's going to be a tie between uh, this Ontario Wrap Model 1 and the, the Craig or Krog, whatever. But all say it is, is uh, stainless steel. This is uh, D2 is not. It's close, but it's not. I haven't had any problems with uh, any of my D2 getting super corroded, and I live in the south. But these are completely different knives. If you want a flipper, go with this one. You know, $29 with the Ontario and Aus 8. You get better edge holding than the D2. This one's going to be in the upper price point of $35, but good knife at that price point. Um, if you're looking for a stainless out of the group, I would have to go with the, the Reich. Now, if the Reich's too small or you can't have a locking knife, then I'll go with the 8CR from the Civivi. So there you go. Um, I could go on and on for days. I, like I said, I will probably do another video of some, some other good budget options under $35. If y'all would like to see that, um, let me know what, what's your top picks out of all these. Um, there's so many awesome blades out there. It, it's amazing to see that you can get an amazing knives for under $35. Um, I was talking to somebody the other day and we're talking about doing our, you know, our favorite are the best budget blades at the end of the year for for 2020 and there's so many awesome budget blades it's it's, it's unbelievable uh, like i said if you have any questions about any of these hopefully i i gave you some good options for the for the person who uh reached out to me hopefully one of these will fit the bill for you and if you have any questions about a certain one you know you can contact me anybody you can always uh, email me if you want to know my email address. Just uh, 
leave me a comment here or DM on Instagram. That's probably the best way to get a hold of me. But there you go. Well, I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.